me to scoot over. <laughs> no, this <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, let me move the camera track. over. Oh, yeah, we're already live, so don't cuss. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Hi, and welcome to Everlasting Gifts. <laughs> I'm Jody. I'm Erin. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the delicate subject of fertility and sensuality. Making babies. Making babies. Yeah. We got all the help, well, most of the helpful stuff to make that baby making happen. Yeah. You, you have the, to provide the rest. Yeah, the rest you got to do on your own. Because, yeah. well, you know, <laughs> I can only do so much for you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, so, I, you know, back in the day when I was making babies, I mm -hmm. never really thought about going to, you know, a, a metaphysical shop and picking up stones or oils or any of that stuff. How about you? Well, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I was having a hard time getting pregnant. And we and, had several people come in who yeah. have had those issues. Yeah. yeah, and I went out and I bought a little fat fertility goddess pendant and to be perfectly honest a little sperm earring and I was pregnant within the month. You're so racy. I know, I know. <laughs> well, so, well, let's talk about the stones. Yeah. Should we just get right yes. into it? Let's just jump into the okay, stones. Let's, let's get so, stoned. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. All right. All right. So, well, we have our little fertility goddess right here. She, is she alabaster? Oh, she's gypsum. She's so, gypsum, yeah. and she is up for adoption this week. So if you would like to take her home with her little fat belly, see her little mm -hmm. fat belly? Yeah. Um, okay. She would be happy to go home and sit on your bedside so that you can um, let her aid mm -hmm. you in yes. your fertility and sensuality yes. practices. Give her, give her the wish of your I don't know what I'm trying to say it's raining I, I think that was good it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah anyway okay so there are a lot of stones that are supportive of fertility and leading up to the fertility aspect right yeah yeah, yeah the okay. you know sexy time that's what we're all talking about yeah that's what we're talking so, um, carnelian is one we talk about over and over that's good for a lot of things mm -hmm. and fertility and sex drive. We'll just say the mm -hmm. word sex. Maybe you should have everybody under 18 leave the room at this point. Yeah, just ski daddle. Right. If Although they could if, probably yeah. teach you a thing or two right. at this point. But if anyway. You're, if you're at work, should you be watching videos at work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be. So, carnelian. Okay. It pumps things up. And it's, I mean, it's a good healing stone just to, yeah, stop. It's a good healing stone to begin with. It gets your circulation, your heart going, gets things primed and ready, so and to speak. And we just happen to have them in these lovely little yonis. <gasps> oh, you do. Lovely. Isn't that a great mm -hmm. necklace, you guys? Look. <gasps> we also have them in Tree of Life, which is all about growth and rebirth, you know, the leaves. They're, acorns and we have it in these really cute yonis and the beautiful yonis they're actually and really we gorgeous, also have them in yonis counterparts as well we do that's these guys <laughs> sorry can't show you all of it but i'll let you imagine what's behind the little black circles <laughs> sensor <laughs> uh, and we and have <laughs> palm stones and if that's just too much for oh, you to take. Oh my gosh, right? Palm stone will work just as well. Well, yeah, pretty yeah. much in any form. I yes. mean, we even have the little tumble guys, which I'm going to tell you what this little baggie's for later. Ooh. Oh, mm -hmm. I know, right? Cool. Okay. <laughs> so, so we, you're pumped up and ready to go. You're raring to go. But things aren't happening the way you want them to. So, eggs are always a great way to go for mm, fertility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It enhances your female power and... What's that stone? This is Rainbow Moonstone. Ooh. And Moonstone is a great uh, hormone balancer, pregnancy promoter. Right. Healthy pregnancy, um, conception, carrying it to term, so on and so forth. It just, it helps with all of those things, it's very supportive. It's a really loving healing stone to begin with. Oh, 
We've been going on and on about this one today. And zoocyte. So everybody listen. I did not know, but this stone is said to help with the production of sperm. Yes. And it's a good male stone to keep if it's on the, you know, the male having the hard time with the fertility thing. This one. Ruby and zoocyte. The zoocyte is good for all fertility problems, um, but especially good for getting the, you know, the man's business. Getting the going. swimmers kicking. Yes, giving them a little extra oomph. Okay, got that. Yeah. How all about right. jade? Ooh, jade. Okay, so we have these beautiful. Well, it's too bad we can't open them, but yeah, yoni eggs. Yes out of jade and you know strengthening muscles could be a good way to uh well so here's the deal when you have that special moment during sexual intercourse yeah that's right you're the expert on this uh, I oh do. my you gosh do okay this stuff for a yeah living. so your uterus does this funny contracting thing right, right. which actually and you're all gonna love this because i can't think of a better word for it gobbles the sperm so <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so it, it actually helps to contract and it, you know, kind of gobbles, you know, you know yeah. like it, vacuums or Pac-Man was kind of what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, but, I was you know, thinking that too. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> oh my God, that could be a whole new game. <laughs> little uteruses For and little dinner. sperm <laughs> and little eggs. <laughs> they flash blue. You know? The sperm are loose. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, where were we? Oh, yes, yummy <sighs> eggs. So, um, fab the strengthening, how is it, is fabulous for that, you guys, because it actually helps to not only take it in, but keep it in, right. um, you know, yes. once you've completed the coitus. Without the interruptus. <laughs> <laughs> I said Sorry. coitus with a straight face, too. Yeah. Okay. okay, anyway. So, <laughs> What's our next stone? <laughs> yeah, anyway, well, also, you know, it helps with the increasing pleasure, and they say that, you know, Orgasm helps with conception. At least that's well. The old yeah, if you're gonna have sex, sale. there should be a little bit of orgasm At in the there. End. If not, I'm it's just a about whole the bunch female, of not the time. Don't look up. Don't. I told you not to look up. Don't look up. Anyway, okay. So then, <laughs> what's going on behind anyway. this should not be happening at anybody's no. job. <laughs> it's just gonna keep going through my my head. Anyway, we've also got unicut, which is an outstanding fertility stone. Mm -hmm. I. I wish it was we had them in eggs at this moment, but we don't because the eggs just are very symbolic of fertility. But we do have an angel. She could be a little guardian angel of your womb. Aww. Stay out of my womb. Yeah. Or get in my womb. Get in my womb. Get in my yeah. belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up in. Oh, she's right. Jasper. <laughs> Welcome sign. Welcome. No. Okay. My daughter would get that. Uh, Anyway, okay, so Ocean Jasper, that, this is another one that's good for the male side of things, um, keeping things flowing, going, you know, and it just let, left my mind what I was going to say about it. Hold on. Let me see if I can remember. Oh, you guys all distracted me with the goings on behind me. <laughs> this, I got it in an egg shape, as you can see, it's an egg, um, even though I did say it was for male, but if, you know. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. So ocean jasper, that's another good fertility stone. I mean, there's a lot of them. There's rose quartz. Um. Well, and the thing I found is since we started doing these videos and doing some in, you know, in-depth research every single week, yes, you guys, believe it or not, this doesn't happen <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, there are so many stones that help with all sorts of fertility, things. sensuality, you know, um, basically the baby making, mm -hmm. making it happen because let's face it, I, you know, it's a huge part of life, you yes, know? Yes. Oh, that's, it's regenerative to genitals. That's what that, that was one of the things I was going to say. Oh, I remember. after they've had a large blood flow. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. It yes. helps to regenerate yes. that mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Okay. Wait. So we forgot. I, I wanted to mention another stone that's similar to carnelian that helps with the, you know, the libido, which is orange kyanite. 
a little bit under your pillow, in your back pocket, so in your bra. Sacral. Yeah, there you go, right in that area. Yeah, okay. Just, you know. And so it's it's just a good one that helps boost things up a little bit. If okay. if that's part of the problem, you know. I don't know. Yeah, because there ain't no babies if the boosting ain't happening. Right. Yeah. yeah. I like yes. to put my words classy. <laughs> So, okay, so stones aside, um, scent is also huge, and we have lots of different um, choices here at the store. And every time I hear, I say that, I hear, we know you have lots of choices when you fly. You know, thank you from Southwest. Um, I flew way too much back in the day. So, yeah, when um, you were we, making babies. <laughs> no, heck no. Um, so, we came up with a little Aphrodite mist because Aphrodite is the, you know, the goddess of um, sensuality and fertility. Love and yes, yes, which not to be confused with Venus because from what I read, Aphrodite is actually Venus. Well, right. There's the Roman and the Greek. Right. Okay, so learning all the time. So we came up with this great little mist, you guys, and you're just going to put it in some distilled water mm -hmm. um, so it can be mist all, misted all over your body. Um, but I recommend putting it on what I like to call the hot spots, and hot spots are where your pheromones are made and released. And that's your sweat glands. That's why when you test perfume, you test it right here because you have a great sweat gland. You rub, rub, rub until it gets hot, and it will release your pheromones okay. behind the ears, between mm. the breasts, on the, uh, you know... Uh, fold of your um, elbows mm -hmm. and knees are great places mm -hmm. even down there by that in your little creek in your zone mm -hmm. um, you release a lot of pheromones <laughs> so um, the newsletter again will contain the recipe this week so if you're not getting our newsletter man and I, I picked up some great fertility stuff from all over the world that's gonna be in oh, there yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah anyway so it was really fun um, so oh. this contains rosemary, rose, cinnamon, and a little bit of orange. Um, it smells absolutely yummy, um, as well as getting things going. Um, and I also thought I'd mention that all of the stones we showed you, or a great portion of them, also come in tumbles. So it would be really great to throw a few tumbles in your water. Mm -hmm. You know, so shake Charge it, it up. Charge it up, right. So when you're putting it on, you're getting the power of the stones, as well as the oils and stuff. Yeah. With all the intentions that go with it all. See, we're so smart. I know. Right? Putting it all amazing, together. Amazing. Amazing. Um, so also in the in the store we have that aphrodisiac candle. And again, because scent is so <laughs> wonderful, the male scent of uh, preference for arousal mm -hmm. is vanilla. Okay. So if you're not baking cookies, you can always get out some good old vanilla, throw it in your diffuser. Or you yeah, can dab little, it on your... A little behind you know, the ears, right? Smell like a cook. Um, for us girls, we love strawberry. And for those of you who are like, I don't like strawberry, whatever. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so maybe you like chocolate. Dipped <laughs> strawberries. Oh my gosh, right? There it is. So we do have chocolate incense in it. it smells yummy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever burned it? Yeah, actually I have. have and it smells pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. it smells chocolatey. And we also have passion. Passion incense. <laughs> it's got naughty pictures on it. We again, we're amazed I know. every day at this I shop. Know. You never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> um, and then I pulled out this guy. You know, just a nice little deck. This is called the Mother of Wisdom. A mother. I mother's wisdom fertility deck. mothers yeah. birth you know babies. yeah and this is really cool because it's got your deck oh i'm showing you yeah and you know i think that we might have had this on mother's day too but you kind of need fertility to be a mother, part so. of mother's day yeah well, somebody needs to be yeah yeah, at yeah. Some point. so what's that class this week this week is acceptance with share joy and it's all about accepting whatever you need to accept parts of yourself, parts of your life, how to not always be swimming against the tide and to just relax and enjoy. Oh, I mean, I think I might one. be putting words into her mouth, but yeah, that's the I essence of it. That sounds yes. really good for the holidays, though. Yeah, no, that's that you was know, what it was all about, just is just letting it be the duck. Let it happen. Let Someone that I know and love always says, be the duck. <laughs> My kids are getting sick of hearing 
that because I kept saying that to them and they're like what does that mean just let it roll off your back guys it doesn't help to you know beat the dead horse exactly exactly no dead horse no dead beating horses. Mm -hmm. yeah uh -huh. I think that's it for this week I is it yeah so if you oh it is I or guess. someone you know is trying to get pregnant Oh, you know what else we didn't we didn't bring up, which we should have, is we do have fertility goddess pendants, sterling oh, silvers. We do, which are great because we have lots of goddess. I mean, we stuff. have all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and they're yeah. so cute because I just love that they're so fat and round, mm -hmm. not unlike myself. Yes, and you they're know? very sensual. Yes, thank you I mean, for agreeing that I'm fat and round. So no, I agreed that you were sensual. Yeah, okay, and sexy. <laughs> okay. All right, we're done. We're done. We are Bye. so done. Bye, you guys. Have a great week. <laughs>